This dog feeder is not high-tech but it has the natural automation because of physics. It supplies unlimited water and food for your pet at any time as long as stacks last. Join me in this video as I tell you why I invest on this non-electronic item for my home. Please subscribe and support this channel. This automatic 2-in-1 dog feeder comes in three colors, pink, black, and gray. I choose gray because of this uh, little puppy that I am going to adopt. Uh, the puppy's color is mostly gray and it would blend with that of the dog feeder's color. I've been sharing uh, stories about this puppy and uh, her mother on my Facebook account. The mother of this puppy is a street dog but not your ordinary Ascal or Asongkalye as we call these dogs in the Philippines. These dogs are roaming inside our subdivision. These are from the neighboring community that found our gated and fenced subdivision a good place to hang out oh, yeah. and most importantly for survival. We tried to shoo away these dogs but they keep coming back. On the second week of February, I discovered these puppies with their mother in a vacant lot across my house. Then I noticed that the mother dog was desperately looking for food. Growing up with local dogs in our home, I have sympathy with dogs. So I started feeding the mother dog so that she has the nutrients to nurse her puppies. To prepare for my adoption of this puppy, I decided to purchase this dog feeder from a pet shop on uh, Lazada at about uh, 300 pesos. <laughs> yeah! Hello! <laughs> Uy! The base measured 25 cm by 30 cm or 10 inches by 12 inches. This is where you put the containers for the water and this is for the dog food container. While these are the bowls for water and for the dog food. The bowl for food is a centimeter lower than the water bowl to prevent the food from spilling to the water bowl. So once the containers are in place, its height is about 22 cm or around 9 inches. The water container has 1 liter uh, capacity. While uh, the food container is uh, about 2.8 liters. This is made of ABS and polypropylene resin, a known very durable plastic and has high resistance to heat. And most importantly, polypropylene is approved for use with food and beverages because it has no BPA that is proven toxic. But this one, the bottle is, uh, I'm sure it's made of pet. This is some pet bottles. You see here, pet. It's not pet because it's for do dogs and <laughs> cats, <laughs> but uh, pet is a kind of bottle, uh, the one we are uh, using for our water and for uh, uh, juices and beverages, that's pet bottle. Without any contents, the overall weight of this uh, dog feeder is only about uh, 800 grams, so it's very light. Okay. This is far from smart uh, dog feeder that you can buy from companies like Xiaomi. But let me discuss the physics behind the natural automation of this feeder so that you can uh, instead save money. The water bottle has a non-spill spout made of spring here. Okay. When you put this in place on the base, the spring is pressed and it will start dispensing water to the bowl. At the bottom of the water container area, there's a, a pointed uh, plastic here that will press the spring okay, and it will open the, the spout. So let's try. The water starts this already flowing to the bowl now when the water level reaches this stage uh, water stops dispensing thus thus preventing the water from overflowing but you may ask me why um, this is how the magic of nature works the vendor says um, it works like the siphon effect but I would say 
No, as far as my physics knowledge is concerned. Instead, this works by virtue of the differential uh, pressure. The space uh, inside the bottle when it is upside down position has the inside pressure here, the, uh, the one in above portion. The space here is the inside pressure that pushes the water but the atmospheric pressure outside the bottle pushes the water here and the outside pressure is greater than the inside pressure thus it prevents the water from overflowing the uh, water bowl or from the bowl once an amount of water is taken from the bowl the inside pressure pushes the water out but the outside pressure stops it again then let's take some water you see there, when an amount of water is taken from the bowl, the water inside will restart uh, flowing again. So that is not a siphon effect, but it's a pressure differential between the pressure inside the bottle and the atmospheric pressure or the pressure outside the bottle. So it, will, it won't really uh, overflow because of that principle. When you want to uh, refill the bottle, you can just simply remove this one without spilling. On the other hand, the dog food is dispensed by means of sheer gravity and available space at the mouth of the uh, food dispenser. So you can see there the dispensing stops because the dog, the dog food filled up the mouth of the dispenser. As soon as the dogs and the puppies uh, empty this area, then the uh, dispenser will continue feeding a more uh, dog food. If you look at the pet shop on Lazada, this item received positive reviews and I'm also giving it high grades at its price. You are not sure chains, talagang sulito as we say it. If you have uh, experiences using this dog feeder, please comment below. Dagan salamat, ako si Jun Tariman, Hi Tech Tabay.